jobs. Keeping the romance alive in any relationship, well, maybe it's a challenge these just, days. Just a little bit sometimes. Mm. TJ Holmes and Amy Robach warns GMA for firing them? Did TJ Holmes and Amy Robach warn GMA for firing them? Amy Robach and TJ Holmes usually report the news, but recently it's their own relationship making headlines. If you haven't heard of this story yet, don't worry, I will review the drama in these two anchors' lives. Before that, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you never miss out on a video when it's being posted. Let me remind you of the scandal. The GMA3 co-anchor sparked dating rumors on November 30th, 2022 after photos surfaced of them holding hands in a car during a vacation in upstate New York and cozying up at a bar in New York City. The photos quickly caused an online frenzy as people questioned the status of their respective marriages. Holmes joined the GMA3 team in 2014 and immediately struck up a close connection with Robach. She previously told people about their friendship. They said, hey, we want to bring on a co-anchor. What do you think of TJ Holmes? And I almost fell out of my chair, she said. My God, you couldn't have picked a better person to ask me what I thought of because we've been trying to figure out a way to work together for literally the last five years. Robach also told People about their double dates with Shu and Feibig. The moment he started on ABC, I think we just clicked. We've gone on a ton of double dates with our spouses and my daughters babysit his daughters. Basically, he's like my brother, she adds of Holmes. We just can finish each other's sentences. We get along so well. It's so wonderful to have, again, it's that trust. And you don't always have that on the set. But I know no matter what I do or say, he's got my back and vice versa. And that's everything. Some brother he is. As if things couldn't get any messier. Before TJ Holmes started a relationship with his GMA3 co-anchor Amy Robach, he had a three-year affair with married Good Morning America producer Natasha Singh that started in 2016. Multiple sources told Page Six the cheating duo even confided in Robach about their infidelity at the time. Amy was the person they went to talk to about their affair and marriages, an insider claimed. Holmes and Singh's affair started off long distance with Holmes based in New York and Singh working as a producer for the show from Los Angeles. Holmes was a GMA correspondent at the time and would meet up for romps with Singh during his travels, the publication claims. Singh, who was also a yoga teacher and mediator, left the show in 2018 and moved to New York where she started working as a producer for CBS Mornings. That's when she and Holmes started spending even more time together. She fell in love with him. He had a key to her apartment, another insider added. Singh said no comment when approached. Holmes' wife, Marley Feibig, found out about the affair with Singh in 2019 after discovering several emails, it's further claimed. And as rumors swirled about Holmes and Robach in recent months, Marley never considered Amy because she was still focused on Natasha. She never even thought about him cheating with Amy because they were friends. Amy's daughter was their daughter's babysitter, the first source said. Holmes ultimately ended the affair with Singh and started working to reconcile his marriage throughout the pandemic. Robach, however, remained friends with Singh and it angered Feibig because she would see photos of them on Instagram and she didn't understand how their friend and her husband's co-host could remain friends with the woman who tried to break up their marriage, the third source said. Singh's friendship with Robach, however, soured earlier this year around spring because Amy was so close to TJ, they added. It wasn't until the summer that Feibig grew suspicious of Robach because they started seeming closer than colleagues. Multiple sources said Holmes and Robach would have random meetings during the day and hit the pub to have drinks with each other. Still, Holmes and his wife were fully together in August and even celebrated his birthday with a trip to the Bahamas. It was there that Feibig discovered a birthday card from Robach that was too personal. It brought back the old Natasha drama. She couldn't trust him anymore, the third source said. Reps for the GMA couple and Feibig did not comment. So, they've hired lawyers? TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have not been terminated as GMA3 co-anchors, but a source says that their future at the network certainly hangs in the balance. According to the source, while Robach and Holmes are still employed at ABC, both have hired lawyers because there is an ongoing investigation and that's what you do when this happens. As ABC News president Kim Goodwin has previously said, Robach and Holmes haven't violated any company guidelines. That being said, the source adds that there is still a chance they will not return to GMA3. The source also summarizes that the longer this process takes, the more likely they won't return to their respective positions. 
Whether they return to other positions at the network remains to be seen, the source tells ET. In a December 12th letter to NBC News staff, Goodwin revealed that the co-anchors would remain off-air while the network conducted an internal review. As we start this new week together, I want to take a moment to address the ongoing matter involving GMA3 anchors TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. I understand that the continuing coverage can be distracting from this incredibly important work our team does here at ABC News, the letter began. Amy and TJ will remain off-air pending the completion of an internal review and there will be a rotation of anchors at GMA3 for the time being. It is my hope that we will continue to focus our energy on what we do best, and I want all of you to know how immensely proud I am of your hard work and professionalism. Holmes and Robach made headlines back in November when their romance became public when photos surfaced of them showing some PDA. Their relationship drew even more attention due to the fact that they were both still married at the time. A source would later say that the co-anchors had separated from their spouses in the summer. The two have both been married since 2010, Holmes to attorney Marley Feibig and Robach to actor Andrew Hsu. Sources said that they had both split from their spouses before news of their relationship became public. Robach stopped wearing her wedding ring in photos she posted to her Instagram account in October. And while the news of Holmes and Robach's relationship has come as a surprise to many, a source said that it had been going on in secret for quite some time. The day after making headlines, the co-anchors returned to their GMA3 show and Holmes seemingly made a joke about all the media attention. You know, it's too bad it's Friday. It's been a great week. I just want this to keep going and going and going. Just enjoy it, he quipped. Robach laughed as she told Holmes, Speak for yourself. I am very excited about the weekend, and I'm sure everyone else is too. We all love our Fridays around here. Some of us do, at least. You know, it's too bad it's Friday. Is it? It's been a great week. Just want this one to keep going and going and going. Um, Just enjoy it. Speak for yourself. Take it all in. I am very excited about the weekend, uh, and I'm sure everyone else is too. Uh, we all love our Fridays around here. <laughs> Holmes and Robach, who have sat beside each other at the anchor desk daily on weekends since 2020, were initially only temporarily taken off the air, with a source saying that Goodwin addressed the relationship at an editorial meeting. I'm going to talk about something that has become an internal and external distraction, the relationship between two of our colleagues, Goodwin said, according to the source. I want to say that while the relationship is not a violation of company policy, I have really taken the last few days to think about and work through what is best for NBC News. For now, I'm going to take Amy and TJ off the air while I figure this out. Today, it will go to Gia Benitez and Stephanie Ramos during GMA3, and we'll take it from there. They've been off air ever since, and in the weeks that followed, Holmes and Robach proved that they are very much still together as they've been seen traveling together for the holidays, and Holmes also filed for divorce. Anyways, let's wrap this up. Do you think they should lose their jobs? Do you think it's right for them to get lawyers? Tell us below. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.